Hello again, this is Dr. Joe Snyder. Today we're going to talk about the normal distribution Excel functions. There are four of them that we're going to go over. Norm SDIST, Norm SI and V, and then also Norm DIST and Norm I and V. You use the SDIST and SI and V when you're talking about uh, the z-score or standard bell curve table and chart. When you're talking about x values that's where you get into norm dist and norm INV without the s in the middle. So the s you can think of that as a standardized normal curve. Alright so we're going to answer some questions. The mean and standard deviation for the standardized is 0 and 1. So what we're going to do is ask several probability questions and then come up with the formulas that meet that need. Remember, when you're talking about z-values, you're only using norm s-dist and norm si and v. So when you use each one. When you have a probability being wanted, then you use the distribution. When you have a z-value being wanted, you use the norm si and v it's inverting back from a probability to a z-value. Okay, so the probability that the values are less than a z-value of 0.44 on the chart that would be right about in the middle between 0 and 1, positive 0.44. Okay, so it's wanting to know the probability that the values are less than that amount. It's going to be a little over 50 percent because it's over the, the zero halfway mark. So about right in here. So we're going to calculate that out. Since we're looking for a probability, it's now going to be norm s dist. And it wants to know the z value, 0.44. That's all there is to that one because it's a less than type problem. If you went through the normal probability lecture video, uh, you would have done that by hand, and then you would know that there's only a two-step process. You calculate Z and look it up. We're just doing it through Excel. It's doing all these lookups for us in the reference data. This one says, what's a Z value? Now we're going to use the norm s i n v function. So the probability is 0.66. And we're done with that one. You can see that it's much faster than doing it manually. You just have to know when to apply each formula and what to stick into uh, the inputs for the formula. The next one it says, what's the z value? So we're going to end up using the INV function. Equal norm s INV, NV, if I can spell. The probability is 0.35. We're still dealing with less than, so we haven't done with a greater than yet. So let's think, why is that negative? The probability being 35% somewhere over in here. Okay, so it says it's negative 0.38, so that'd be right about in here. Okay, so it's going to be on the negative side, so that makes sense. The next one says probably the values are greater than is equal to plus 0.44. So it's looking for a probability but now we're dealing with a greater than so what we have to do is do a 1 minus. Remember that from that normal probability lecture video when you're seeing greater than you end up doing a 1 minus because you're getting everything to the left of that number 
So then 100% minus that number is what you really want, which is to the right. A between problem. It's wanting a probability. So in this case, norm s dist of the higher number, which is 0.44, minus norm s dist of 0. So here, just as in step 5 of the normal probability lecture video, take the bigger number, get its probability, take the smaller number, get its probability, and subtract. So you're seeing up here the normal distribution function on 0.44 minus the normal s dist function on 0. So this is how you would go about using the norm s functions, the s dist and s down v. Um, so remember, if you're looking for a probability, then you look for the distribution function. If you're looking for the z value, you're looking for the i and v function to be used. So we're half done with the video. The x values is the other part of it.